Father God, I wonder how I managed to exist without the knowledge of your parenthood and your loving care. But now I am your child, I am adopted in your family, and I will never be alone. For Father God, you're there beside me, I will sing your praises, I will sing your praises, I will sing your praises forevermore. Sing your praises, I will sing your praises, I will sing your praises forevermore. Mass intentions. Thanksgiving masses offered by Dalton Rodrigo, Sheridan Dias. Edel Fernandez on her birthday, Priya and Dante D'Souza on their silver wedding anniversary, for the intentions of all the Redemptorist priests in OLPS Parish, and Crystal D'Souza, Mary Rodericks, and Hazel Tavares on their birthdays. Months Mind Mass of Franklin Vaz and Dorothy D'Souza. Fifth Death Anniversary of Joe D'Souza Death Anniversary of Daraire Victor For the souls of Diego Xavier Fatado, Joe De Silva, Alzina McDonnell, Fathers Francis Pinto and Franklin Lobo, Peter D'Souza, Joe Dias, Father Lee Joe Thomas, Betty Omar, Shamim Kamre, Philomena D'Souza and departed members of the family, Father Steve Rodericks, Patrick and John Tellis, Lilia Miranda, Carmen De Costa, Benny and Praxi De Costa, Jennifer Braganza and Joseph Anthony Vadaseri. For the departed members of Freitas and Zirica families and for the souls in purgatory. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, Every time we come around this Eucharistic celebration, it challenges us to first and foremost experience the love of Christ in our hearts and then secondly, it also challenges us to share that love with one another. For the times that we ourselves have kept ourselves away from the love of Christ, for the times that we have not been instruments of love and care to others, for all those moments, let us ask for pardon and forgiveness. Together we pray, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, 
they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Daniel. In those days, Daniel said to Nebuchadnezzar, You saw a king, and behold, a great image. This image, mighty and of exceeding brightness, stood before you, and its appearance was frightening. The head of this image was of fine gold, its chest and arms of silver, its middle and thighs of bronze, its legs of iron, its feet partly of iron and partly of clay. As you looked, a stone was cut out by no human hand, and it struck the image on its feet of iron and clay and broke them into pieces. Then the iron, the clay, the bronze, the silver and the gold all together were broken into pieces and became like the chaff of the summer threshing flows and the wind carried them away so that not a trace of them could be found. But the stone that struck the image became a great mountain and filled the old earth. This was a dream. Now we will tell the king its interpretation. You, O king, the king of kings, to whom the God of heaven has given the kingdom, the power, and the might, and the glory, and into whose hand he has given, wherever they dwell, the children of man, the beasts of the field, and the birds of the heavens, making you rule over them, <coughs> you are the head of gold. Another kingdom inferior to you shall arise after you, and yet a third kingdom of bronze which shall rule over all the earth, and there shall be a fourth kingdom strong as iron, because iron breaks to pieces and shatters all things, and like iron that crushes it shall break and crush all these. And as you saw the feet and toes, partly of potter's clay and partly of iron, it shall be a divided kingdom. But some of the firmness of iron shall be in it, just as you saw iron mixed with soft clay. And as the toes of the feet were partly iron and partly clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly brittle. As you saw the iron mixed with soft clay, so they will mix with one another in marriage, but they will not hold together, just as iron does not mix with clay. And in the days of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed, nor shall the kingdom be left to another people. It shall break in pieces all these kingdoms and bring them to an end, and it shall stand forever just as you saw that a stone was cut from a mountain by no human hand 
and that it broke in pieces the iron, the bronze, the clay, the silver, and the gold. A great God has made known to the king what shall be after this. The dream is certain and its interpretation sure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response will be, sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, all works of the Lord. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, you heavens. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, you angels of the Lord. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, all waters above the heaven. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, all powers. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Let us stand and prepare our hearts for the gospel. Praising his name, we'll sing alleluia, sing alleluia. Praising his name, praising his name, we'll sing alleluia, sing alleluia. Praising his name. Be faithful unto death, says the Lord, and I will give you the crown of life. Alleluia, 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 praising His name. Alleluia, 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 praising His name. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, as some were speaking of the temple, how it was adorned with noble stones and offerings, Jesus said, As for these things that you see, the days will come when there will not be left here. One stone upon another that will not be thrown down. And they asked him, Teacher, when will, this, when will these things be? And what will be the sign? When these things are about to take place. And he said, See that you are not led astray. For many will come in my name saying, I am he. And the time is at hand. Do not go after them. And when you hear of wars and tumults, do not be terrified, for these things must first take place, but the end will not be at once. Then he said to them, Nations will rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, and in various places famines and pestilences, and there will be terrors and great signs from heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Your brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, during the time of Jesus, the temple was the wonder of the world. It was very beautifully built. It was the center of attraction. It was adorned with jewels and a wonderful art 
as well as architectural works were done on the temple. It was the most beautiful thing, the most treasured thing for the Jews. Somehow the Jews took pride in the temple and they said when the temple is there, nothing will happen to us. The temple stands as strong as ever and until and unless the temple is there, nothing can happen to us, nothing will affect us. Perhaps this is the feeling that the community or the Jewish people had at that point of time and Jesus is telling them, be aware, do not place your faith only in the structure, do not place your faith only in the stones because one day they will come down. It should not be that along with their temple, your faith also would go down. Jesus is telling them, build your faith. Do not be led astray. Do not go away, but rather be aware and focus yourself on the kingdom. And how does one focus oneself on the kingdom? It is by practicing kingdom values, values that are taught, taught by Christ. And that is what is very important, that we place our trust, that we place our faith in God and we practice love and mercy in our lives. And that is the whole crux of the gospel. We in our lives too, dear brothers and sisters, are called to place our trust, to place our faith in Jesus, to place our trust in the love of God and not only on structures, not on the outer glory, but rather on the values and the gospel of Christ. We pray in this Holy Eucharistic celebration that we build our lives, that we build our faith on the gospel values and not on the structures of our lives. For this grace we pray. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love. Grant us unfailing obedience to your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, 
but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Holy is the Lord, blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection You have set us free Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by the divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a loving sign of peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age, says the Lord. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer in times of coronavirus. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence, we come before your holy picture to beseech your intercession. We think of you, Mother, at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony, but your joy was great when he rose from the dead, victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of sorrows, pray for us in this time of trial. Help us not to lose heart. Intercede for your people who are afflicted with coronavirus. Comfort your people who are vulnerable and anxious. Protect healthcare workers who put their lives at risk. Inspire our leaders to make good decisions. Change our hearts so that we may act responsibly. Teach us to trust in God's love and mercy and to share with you the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen. Mother of Perpetual Help, pray, pray for, for us. us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us join in the recessional hymn. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. And we'll pray that all unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. 